Hey everybody, welcome back to exclusive limited run games unboxing like I do. I realized I've unboxed all my limited run games from Switch for the Switch and might as well continue that with Oxenfree. Now I know it's not a big box, not a collector's edition. You're like, what? I told you I was missing one collector's edition. This is not it. They didn't actually make a collector's edition for this and if I believe this was the first one they did not make a collector's edition for on the Switch and there's been one or two like that since and um, that's okay, I guess. But uh, I'll take the plastic off so you can get a good look at this in just a moment. But let's take a quick look at some of the other details. And of course, this is more going to be about just showing you some of the gameplay because the unboxing is not going to be much to it. But of course, we get our limited run loyalty rewards points. Not worried about that because you actually have to send in the ticket. Anxious to get 25 to see if I can get a blind box of soundtracks and that wait for a fun unboxing. And they sent me two cards. I think just by mistake, usually only get one, but they are the same card, number 270. Nice and shiny. And again, with most, most of these limited run games, I do not know anything about the game itself. Wow, there's some dogs outside. And, uh, <laughs> but I do find they pick really awesome games most of the time, so happy to learn from them. Like, uh, so far I have loved, um, uh, what's the last, Car uh, Saturday Morning RPG and uh, Thimbleweed Park. And the others have been really fun, like Slime Son and all that as well. So um, that's really nice. Man, the packaging is really shiny too, for some reason. It seems more shiny than usual. All right, so let's take a look inside. And we do have a book, we'll look at that. No reversible cover. I like the art on the inside. Usually you get reversible covers, but again, this is Switch release number 10, because they are kind of coming in out of order. There is your cartridge. I like the art on that. I think the art in this, I'm vaguely remembering what this one is now. And actually I'm pretty excited for it. So we'll be, I'll be playing some here shortly. All right, let's take a look at the art book and hopefully get some cool stuff in here. Oh yeah, I love stuff like this. You kind of get a little behind the scenes look, you get some nice sketches and all of that. Character art. I think, isn't this supposed to have kind of a Stranger Things vibe or something like that? I could be totally wrong. Again, I don't know anything about this game yet. I haven't played it, but I will be playing it shortly. And uh, I think it's gonna be pretty fun. I, I really like that art style though. So I think, you know, kind of almost cardboard-esque. So I think that'll be kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Nice little dark place to visit. We're almost through it. Okay, cool. And there you go. So that's pretty much all there is to the actual unboxing of this one. That's kind of the bummer when I don't get a collector's edition. But now we're going to look at some gameplay and then I'll come back and wrap it up. It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for, like, ten minutes. Yeah, um, sorry. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a, you know, actually, I'm not even gonna tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, please don't. Let's not relive their meat cute any more than we have to. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um, I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what? Does that make you to her, then? Hey, uh, second cousin? He's my stepbrother. Oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Eat. Yeah, sure, whatever. I have someone to reach the food on the top shelf now. Just happy to be on the team. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned... Why are you even talking about this? It's humorous, right? It's just interesting. I think it's interesting. 
Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, wait, who's talking right now? It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be Hi. Shouldn't we wait until we get there or at least meet up with the others? No, no, no. This is the core unit anyway. The rest are like our guest stars. And it's Jonas, not Jonah. Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk, right? Patient Zero, AIDS guy. It's, um, biblical, right? Or is that the lying guy? I think every name's biblical, so probably. Here's good. Come on, Alex, join the fun. We, uh, need a girl in the picture, Alex, to balance some of this out. Alex, we're not taking the pick until you get in here. I can wait all night. Well, maybe not all night, but until the boat docks. There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So, tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. Which I played because that song has been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. city living. <laughs> yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. Oh, uh, no thanks. I don't smoke. Last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> okay, just checking. All right, my other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, bud. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're going to have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... Well, no, I'll... it's... It's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay. I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. I'll just be up the hill, in case... whatever. Ren seems nice. He's funny, you know? Yeah, he's... 
Look, just what do you want to talk to me about? When the flag is flying, we are funning. Um, I think it's supposed to say running. Oh. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And like getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. Not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Yeah, I'm sure you miss your friends. Eh, there's not much to miss, to be honest. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. It's nice at night, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. Like a quiche. Uh, I think they block this off at night since nobody needs to use it. Or maybe they just had a parade? Sure. Either one. Uh, if nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the, the, um, the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, like 102.3? Uh, okay, sure. I think they said it's 102.3. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15, 1941, and commissioned into service at the end of that year under the command of Lieutenant before. James Earl Kind of creepy in a way, right? On October 20, yeah. 1943. Hell. <laughs> yeah, my dad had a bunch of comics named that from like the 70s, but it was like literally Marines and fighting and Satan this day, or dinosaurs the only or something. Submarine casualty in America. Named after the Hawaiian... <laughs> staying open if nobody's here. Hello, That's kids. True. The, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by board recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal town. They literally called it trawling. Uh, Wait, how? The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not. But, I mean, it can't be too difficult. Ugh, perfect. Well, just wait a minute and let me think. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High Junior Class, have come to commit improper acts. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just... No way, come on. Alex has always been a devout skeptic, even though the fourth grade field trip proved it without a shadow of a doubt. I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll... Budge. Well, let's try it.
right, so hopefully that looked cool. Obviously, I'm wrapping this up before I played the game, but I have a feeling that was a good one. Hopefully, you enjoyed that. Again, if you would rather me actually talk over the gameplay, please let me know in the comments, but I figure since we're actually just showing off the game, I would leave it about the game itself. But that being said, let me know. What did you think about this one? Did you get this one? Did you wish you had? Obviously, you can get the digital version on your Switch if you want, but usually the physicals are very limited. However, they are still doing open orders when the regular editions happen, so be checking out Limited Run Games. I have a link in the description below. But let me know what you think about this one, and I look forward to hearing what you have to say. Other than that, you can click the thumbs up button, give me the good old thumb of encouragement, as I do love to be encouraged. And I guess now I'm going to get out of here, go open up some more stuff, and I'll see you all later. Later.